Tonight, a disabled veteran is the victim of a crime. His only mode of transportation he just bought after saving money was stolen. But as CBS4 Cynthia Demas reports, he stays positive and optimistic despite falling on hard times. Side, I had the bike park right here on the side. Disabled veteran Arthur Wood says he saved money to buy a bike so he could get around to his jobs. When I came back out, it was gone, so I just thought somebody was playing a little joke on me. But it was no joke. The bike Woods used to get his jobs as a handyman was stolen in the three minutes he walked inside a store. I had to work uh, two days in the, um, in the sun, um, paint a, a duplex. I went to Miami, tried to purchase me a bike, and that was the only way that I was able to obtain it. Woods has fallen on hard times. When the recession hit, he said his work pretty much stopped. He couldn't afford his house. It ended up in foreclosure. He lost his home, but he never lost hope. I just ended up uh, having to go to the um, Camilla's house in Miami to the shelter so that I can probably um, try and get things back together and get my life back in order. He worked hard to buy presentable clothes to get more jobs, then worked hard to get a bike to bike to the jobs up to 10 miles away. And when it was taken in the three minutes, he was inside a store to get change for the laundromat. I was just so frustrated, I just began to walk home. Minister Wayne Oxford with Food of Life Outreach says Woods volunteered with his group before he fell on hard times and volunteered while he was dealing with hard times himself. He's still constantly trying to give back to those less fortunate than himself when he's in need himself. And this vet says he served in the Army for one reason. Just to show my appreciation, you know, for the things that I have been um, able to um, do freely. And on top of it all, his bike was stolen on, of all days, Memorial Day. I was just blown away that someone would actually steal his bike on Memorial Day. And he's a vet, and he worked so hard to buy this bike. A vet who keeps the faith. And I try and stay positive. I try and keep the hope because um, I've never been one to give up. And CBS 4's Neighbors for Neighbors is trying to help out in this situation. If you would like to contribute anything to help this disabled vet get another bike, you can do so by going to neighborsforneighbors.org. In Homestead, I'm Cynthia Demas, CBS 4 News.